Hey, it's George at Joint Effort. I just got back from walking this little lady. She's stretching out. She's a very good dog. Um, so I wanted to share something with you uh, that's an easy way for you to improve your health and fitness that I did yesterday. And the easy thing is hiking. You know, my family and I, we went hiking. We just went for not too long of a walk uh, in the woods and place in, it's on the Clinton Westbrook line. It was absolutely beautiful. We all went, we had a great time. But after we got back, I felt so good and everybody felt so good that I decided to do a little research and it actually reminded me, uh, Katrina, Shannon, Dave and I went to a, t um, it was like a weekend down in Florida a couple years ago for the Functional Aging Institute and there was a gentleman there, his whole presentation was on hiking, it was amazing. Um, so, you know, benefits from hiking that we think about that are pretty common sense would be improved stamina, improved um, cardiovascular health, improved balance, strength, um, bone density, which might not be such common sense, so it's really good um, weight-bearing exercise. Um, blood glu glucose control. So those are all, you know, I would say they're pretty common sense, but some things that he pointed out were the neurological benefits of it because your brain has to send constant, constant feedback down to your working muscles um, to respond in a way that's going to keep you on your feet while you're walking, so that's a very good thing. Um, but then also, I did a little more research before I made this video and it talked about stress relief and how many studies have been done on the benefits of hiking and just being exercising outdoors in general. Yes, you know, exercise is been, has been proven to decrease stress, which is why I recommend it for everybody. We live in a fast-paced, crazy world, so, you know, you have to exercise um, to reduce that, but also exercising outdoors and especially in the woods um, and any green space has been proven to really, really decrease, uh, you know, stress drastically. So definitely recommend that you do it. But I recommend starting slow like I do with any type of fitness program. It's so important that you start slow and don't set yourself up for failure. You know, 10, 15 minutes at a time, um, preferably with someone if you can. That's the best way to do it. Just, you know, God forbid something happened. Um, or at least if it's not going to be with somebody, just let someone know that you're going to wherever you're going for a 10 or 15 minute hike and you should be back by X time. And if you're not, you know, please you know, let somebody know or come find me. Um, but in all seriousness, take this very seriously um, that you have to do it safely. So bring water with you so you can stay hydrated, wear the proper footwear, wear the proper clothing in general. It's going to help you to have a safe and comfortable experience rather than a, you know, a miserable one. Far too many people start exercise programs or any type of activity too quickly and too aggressively and they set themselves up for failure and I don't want that for you. So I'm making the recommendation to go hiking but I'm also making the recommendation to start slowly, 10 or 15 minutes, preferably with somebody and um, you know, know where you're going or take a map. All right, that's all I got for for today. Hope you're having a great one so far and we'll talk to you soon. See ya.